Women will need to work an additional 59 days from the end of the last financial year to earn the same amount as men. Our national pay gap remains stagnant at 14%, not budging from last year's measure. So we still, suffice to say, have a long way to go when it comes to closing the gender pay gap. We will never overcome this pay gap dispute. Why? Well, we refuse to look at it Rationally, we always tippy-toe around the real issue and just blame sexism. It's not sexism. It's just not. But first, ladies and gentlemen, this video is brought to you by the good people at Surfshark VPN. Honestly, if you're using the internet absolutely anywhere and you're not using a VPN, have you lost your entire mind, mate? You need to protect your data and Surfshark VPN is the best possible way that there is in the entire globe to do that. Surfshark VPN helps encrypt your data so that soy boys and criminals all over the world cannot access it. But it also allows you to access restricted data. What does that mean? Well, you can watch Netflix in America if you live in Australia. Oh, and I didn't even know this was a thing, but you'll be charged more money for things like flights if you live in a particular area in the world. So you can use a VPN to access different countries and get cheaper flights. And here's the insane bit. If you enter the code BUTSMAN when you purchase Surfshark VPN, you will not only get a one month free, but you'll get 83% off. Holy dooly. Just last week we had Equal Pay Day here in Australia and every uninformed cocksucker in the mainstream media, universities, teachers, all that shit got on their high horse about the pay gap because apparently the only reason that women don't make as much as men is because of boobs and vag. That's it. That's it. Joining me now is a woman who has made it her mission to tackle this issue, CEO of the remarkable woman, Shivani Gopal. Good morning, welcome to you. Good morning, Georgie. So, the gender pay gap has not moved in Australia over the past 12 months. Why is that? Where are we going wrong? When in reality, we know it's because women choose different occupations or they don't go to university for a certain subject or a degree. It's because of choice. It's really quite concerning. So first of all, the gender pay gap is calculated by looking at the overall national average of pay across different states and different industries. So while the gender pay gap is at 14%, it's actually worse for the people that live in WA at 22%, for example. Hmm, I wonder why. Is it because employers in Western Australia hate women? Or is it because a vast number of the employees in Western Australia work in the mining sector? And the mining sector is majority men. Why? Because men are more likely to move away for work or work in dangerous jobs or they want to work in those jobs because men and women choose different jobs. Okay, it's biology. Now I know what you're thinking. Men and women don't exist. It's all created by our culture. And if you're thinking that, please just grab your computer or your phone or whatever you're watching this on and fucking throw it out the window! On the topic of engineering, that degree in particular has been a sausage fest for many years. But one university plans to change that forever. The University of Technology in Sydney is lowering the engineering entry bar for female school leavers. They can get into the course with 10 fewer ATAR points and this is part of a plan to get more women to study engineering. The University of Technology Technology in Sydney has decided in their infinite wisdom to lower the bar, their entry level score for women, so that more women will join that degree. You no longer need 79 points to get into that course, you need 69 <laughs> if you're a woman, and 79 if you're a man, a pig of a man. The university applied to the New South Wales Anti-Discrimination Board for permission to give 10 Australian Tertiary Admission Rank ATAR adjustment points to female students applying for engineering and construction degrees next year. The Anti-Discrimination Board to discriminate more, even though we're against it. What the fuck? Many universities allocate adjustment points based on disadvantage or illness. Where is the disadvantage or the illness about being a woman? That is so fucking horrible to say about women. Cannot raise the bar by lowering it. It doesn't work like that. Equality of outcome never works. I know a lot of soy boys and feminists and all that don't like me because they see me as this anti-feminist, misogynistic dude with a beard carrying on the internet. And honestly, this is just bullshit. This is not feminism that's pushing this. This is this idea that women are weak and it's fucking garbage. The women in my life are strong people. If they want to do something with their lives, they'll go and fucking do it. Being a woman is not a disability. 
okay? You're not, you've just got a different organ. Who gives a shit? Women are more capable of doing things than men and vice versa. Some men are better at doing things than other women. Okay, it's just, it's just how it works. That's just how it fucking works. What I don't understand about this whole thing is why are women looking down on women? If you want to get more women into the engineering field, well, I'm sorry, but it's just so happens to be that men are more likely to want to work in jobs where it pertains to doing things on a daily basis with things. And women want to do things with people. They want to work with people, like in nursing jobs, or perhaps, or perhaps teaching jobs. And men want to work with things. So discrimination against women in the workplace is the leading cause of that pay gap, isn't it? it just, is. just, just if you could explain what that means. Give us some examples of where and how women are being discriminated against. That is a lie. That is a blatant lie. It's just a fucking lie. I don't know how clearer I can be about that. I don't know how people can watch this video and still think there's a pay gap. I don't know how people can have all this information on the internet and still, even though they have the access to it, they still fail to acknowledge it. It's just fucking ridiculous. Women, on average, work less hours. Just on average. They don't choose dangerous jobs, so they're paid less. On average, they work they choose lower paying degrees. On average, on average, all right? I'm not talking about you, you fucking crazy multi-millionaire CEO woman, all right? I'm not talking about you, talk about the average. They're less likely to ask for a raise, they're more agreeable, and they're less likely to move city to city for a job. There's your pay gap, that's why. But, perhaps in some cases, sexism does play a role. I'm not doubting that for a second. But it's not the only factor. There are a multitude of variables in this situation. And to say that sexism is the only thing causing it is a blatant fucking lie. This even happened in the Victorian police force where they've employed a tactic of positive discrimination so that women can get into the police force and they don't have to have the same physical attributes as the men. In fact, they've lowered the entry requirements for women. So they get more women in there. Okay. Don't know about you guys, but I want the fucking best people on the job. And if it's some big strong fucking dude, or some big strong fucking woman, then that's who I want in there. Don't get me wrong. Female officers are very important, alright? No doubt. Because often, no I shouldn't say this at all. I was going to say that often they're better at talking to people or, or getting along with them. Perhaps who if they're in a, a predicament or, or, or they're in a situation where, you know, some empathy is necessary. I was going to say that, but I can't because there's no difference between the genders. This is what we're talking about here, all right? There's just none. Ha <laughs> ha. Beautiful world. Modern day feminism is making it seem like you are inadequate if you are a woman. And that is fucking garbage, bullshit, and horrendous to hear if you are a young lady. If you're a woman and you want to be an engineer or a policewoman, do you really want the bar to be lowered? What does that say about you? Be the fucking best you can. If you want to do something, go and get it, you mad bitch. And if you're a dude, go and get it, you mad fuckhead. Whatever, alright? Don't let other people tell you what you need. Find out for yourself, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, be a good motherfucker. Peace in the Middle East. Me dick stinks. I'll see you all tomorrow night. Bye.